you to command this mission. This is Herman von Wexler. He's running Operation Bernhard, a plan to destabilize the war efforts by flooding the Allied economy with counterfeit currency. Intelligence has put him here, a small barracks in the mountains of Salzburg. Von Wexler's been using it as a storage depot, but they're now moving the operation to Lake Toplitz. This is our best shot at getting him. Your mission is to extract von Wexler and bring him back. Because of his close ties to Hitler, we could bring down the Third Reich from the inside out. Brief your men and have them ready at 0530. Colonel, good luck, Chris.
Miller. Just got orders from the Colonel. You, Martino, Willis, we need a shooter. How about Conroy? I don't know, Captain. What about Harrison? Between Willis and Martino shooting their mouth off all the time. At least he doesn't talk so much. All right. Harrison it is. Heard you got some bad news over there. I guess you could call it bad news. Wife's giving me the old one, too. But I'm ready to go, Captain. 100%. All right. Gather the men. Meet me in the motor pool. 30 minutes. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. I don't know why, I just can't seem to get things moving. Take a look at this. This is me. It's perfect. I can't look at that right now. I have other things on my mind. <sighs> I can smell those thick, juicy steaks sizzling. Come on, Martino, enough with the food. I'm struggling here. What? As much as I'd love to share your fantasy. Fantasy? This is what I'm fighting for here. The American dream. Can we finish this later? Help me find some castor oil. And I swear, tomorrow, on our day off, you will have my undivided attention. What makes you think we're going to get a day R&R? &R? Oh, we're getting a day. We deserve two. In fact, my last ration of chocolates says that this whole thing is about Eberhardt telling us that the army has seen fit to grant us all an extra day's R&R. &R for being so good on our last mission. I'll take that bet. Come on, we gotta get going. There he is. Hey Harris, what do you think? Going back out? I tell you. Yeah, well, we'll see. Hey, Miller, what's up? Eberhard will be here in a minute. He'll fill you in. I've got it all planned out. Two days, a hot shower, a cold stout. Willis, give it a break. Here he comes. Hey, Captain. Me and Martino here have a bet. I say. You've come here to give us an extra day's leave. You win, Martino. This one's straight from the top. This is an extraction behind enemy lines. Going in undercover. German SS. You know the drill. The target is Hermann von Wexler. Here's the plan. No 5.30 tomorrow. We get flown into Austria and dropped here, just east of Salzburg. We hike through the Alps to Wexler's camp here. We have a German double agent on the inside. He's informed us that Wexler's moved his base of operations here near Lake Toplitz. He's already sent most of his platoon ahead, so he only has a few guys behind protecting him. That makes him vulnerable, so our window is now before he completes the move. Once we grab Wexler, we move here to our land point. At 1600, we move to our airfield for extraction. Any questions? Listen, no one knows better than me that we are in need for some rest, but this is what we have to do. So let's get in and out as quickly and safely as we can. Pick up your gear by 1900. I'll see you in the morning. This is a joke, right? Not today, Willis, I'm warning you. I haven't even taken a proper crap in three days. Like any of us have. This is war. It's the job you signed up for. Now stop complaining. I'm not. 
I'm only making a point that we haven't had a day of rest. What do you think, the Jerry's are sitting around wondering when they're gonna have a day's rest? Huh? Look, we got them on the run, that's where we gotta keep them. Hey Willis, if you don't like it, you can always go back to the infantry division you came from. Hey, who's this Von Wexler guy? You know, I bet he's like one of those famous pilots, like the Red Bear. Don't be an idiot. All right, he's not a pilot. And what do you care, Martino? Huh? You don't get paid to think. Well, if I'm risking my life in a German uniform to get this prick, I want to know what I'm up against. We all should. He's in charge of Operation Bernard. Which is? It's a Nazi plan to make counterfeit money. Counterfeit money? Yeah, counterfeit money. Doesn't sound so dangerous to me. Well, trust me, it is. The whole scheme was devised to mess with the Allied economies, make them weaker. I don't know how. I do know this, it's not good. We gotta get in there and stop this guy. I think this whole operation's a waste of time. I mean, really. We're supposed to believe that a handful of Nazi counterfeiters are gonna fool the Bank of England. I don't know. Looks pretty damn good to me. Jim the Limey, why don't you let us know? Is this a fake? It's what they tell me. Let me see that. You wouldn't know the difference. Hold on. It's perfect, what I tell you. I mean, this guy's a problem. We've got to take care of it. Now, look, the original plan was for the Luftwaffe to drop the notes on the Allied soils. But our guys are so good at taking out these planes, they don't have anything left. All right? So now we got Von Wexler. He's got a new plan to get it out there. Now we got to get him before he does. Any chance I can keep this? No. And the more. That's none of our concern. Look, we get Von Wexler, and that's it. Too bad we didn't have a few of these last time we went on leave. We could have got a couple classy English girls instead. Believe me. You two need a lot more than money for bed. Now listen up. That's right, Miller. You're the expert. <laughs> yeah, on how to screw up a marriage. <laughs> Boy, you got me there, didn't you? Hey, Willis, when the malarkey stops coming out of your mouth, maybe you can use this to wipe your ass. about this German double agent? Nothing. How do you know he's for real? I don't. Aren't you a little worried this whole thing could be a trap? You know what, Miller? Sometimes you just have to trust your intel. See, Martino, this is what I'm talking about. 
If there was any justice in the world, we wouldn't be out here humping all day on another mission 24 hours after we just got back. Hey, man. Uncle Sam's not paying me to think. Just to shoot crowds. How can we not be entitled to a little R&R? &R? Why don't you give us a little R&R &R and, and shut up already? Go to hell. I can do what I want. I'm fighting for freedom. That's where you're wrong. It's not about you. Freedom's not about complaining and shooting your mouth off and disobeying orders. Put a sock in it, Miller. Save your speeches for somebody who cares. All right. Enough already. Willis, you're on point. Captain, I should go up with Willis. Yeah, I sure hear so. Successful drop. Plane's on the way home. Should be back by 8 30. Good news. Should be posted, soldier. Sir. Troop transport. Full of Jerry's rolling in from the east. 300 yards in closing. All right, where's Harrison? He took a left flank for cover fire. All right, move out.
grab whatever magazines you can. We had enough racket for the whole German army to hear. We're not waiting around for any more surprises. All right, let's move out. Just like you said, we got two at the door and one at the gate. How do we know there's only a squad in there? As far as we know, there could be a whole battalion of guys in there. I don't know, I think this double agent's trying to screw us over. Intel said there'd be 12 men. But where'd you get the intel? The double agent, exactly my point. How are we gonna trust these guys if we don't even know them? You know, the, this is just one of those times where you need to let go of your suspicions and trust someone. How do we know her? The intel's been perfect up till now. When is intel ever perfect? I don't know, it's just something doesn't smell right. Yeah, I'm with you. I hate it when everything goes as planned. First things first, we need to take the gate guard out, make our assault from that ridge. What about? Yeah? Yeah, I know that I'm on the spur. Wenn die hier aufkreuzen, werden sie eine große Überraschung erleben. Lucky Strike. First again with Tobacco Man. MFT, LS, MFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Yes, in a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. So for your own real deep down smoking enjoyment, smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Wie geht's? Es geht mir so so. Wir suchen Kommandant von Wechsler. Haben Sie Ihr Papiere? Papier. Haben Sie sie im Fahrzeug vergessen? Ja? In welchem Fahrzeug? Warum gehen Sie zu Fuß? Wir wandern. Es ist ein schöner Tag. Es ist doch ein schöner Tag. Zigaretten? Amerikanisch. Ja, ja, amerikanisch. <lacht> <laughs> Haben Sie ein Feuerzeug? <laughs> we need to know what we're up against on the inside. I see this window here. This should be the mess hall. I need eyes in that window. Harrison, you're on point. Miller, you're on advance with me. Wait. I was just on advance with you. Why do I have to do a recon? You're doing recon. Martino, you're on relay. Wills, do us a favor, stick to the plan. Fuck off. Who the hell made you, boss? Let's go. Was ist da los? Was ist da los? 
Captain! Was da los? Hill says there may be a few patrols and outposts through here. We need to see if that hillside's clear. Miller, you're with me. Harrison, Willis, Martino, keep the colonel entertained. Hey, Cap. Sorry, I doubted the intel earlier this morning. You know I'm just looking out for the unit. I get it. What I won't tolerate is constant fighting with Willis. For a unit. Inside my board. Sometimes I can't help myself. That limey tough guy bullshit really pisses me off sometimes. 
It's not that he doesn't mean well. You two just have a difference of opinion. But you better learn how to deal with him. He isn't going anywhere. One of us. Got it? What the hell are you smiling at? Me? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I saw that smile, we were walking out of a pub in Soho. <laughs> Six hours later, we were shaking hands with the MPs. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that bird was married? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I missed a good time. Oh, you missed a lot of good times, my man. <laughs> Cooking. Well, let's just say I have something in mind for everybody. Maybe just a little payback for what the army owes us. <laughs> Man. Hey, hast du meine Fluppe? Warum wird das schon wieder? Weil mir so arschkalt ist. Ja, aber hier ist doch irgendwie die Zeit noch gut. There it is. Let's get the others. Plan. We got a foxhole on top of the hill, two machine gunners, four patrol. They're between us and our layup point. So we're taking them out. Wait a minute, Captain. I was thinking, why not go around it? Negative. We got a ravine on one side that's impassable, the other side's heavily fortified. Besides, we don't want these guys too close to our layup point. Gear up. We're moving out. What do you want to do with him? MG42. We're gonna try to get him on a barrel change. Harrison, you go around the left side and try and get beat on him. Miller and I are gonna go up the middle. Willis, Martino, you go around the right side. All right, let's move out. Sit your ass down. Harrison, I'm gonna need the med kit. How bad? Shit! Please let out, come on. Easy, 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 come on.
die Gefallene beerdigen, richten Sie ein 10 Kilometer Spätzorn ein. Sie sind noch in der Nähe. Ich werde diese Kriminalen mit Tollhunde jagen und weg zu Tor bringen. Wenn das Okawa davon hört und wird ihn nicht finden, dann sind wir alles sowieso zum Teufel. just intercepted a German transmission. Von Wexler's been captured, and reinforcements are being sent to his camp. Good news, Corporal. That's all for now. How's he doing? The bleeding stopped, but he's unconscious. being so paranoid for? It's not like I plan on getting us caught. When have you ever had a plan? Besides, we'd be lucky to make it back here alive. That bunker's got to be crawling with Jerry's right now. Not if we move fast. All we have to do is hunt back over to the barracks, grab as much cash as we can, and then make it back here before our exfil. Easy. No, nothing's ever easy. This is suicide. And so is soldiering for a living. At least it's honest. Damn. I knew you had balls, but this is something else. This is crazy. It's not crazy. It is, and it's immoral. Look, we're soldiers of the United States Army. We ascribe to a higher set of moral values, okay? And if we don't, we're no better than these Nazis that we're fighting. And now these higher morals are gonna put food on your table and clothes on your children after the war. If the rest of the God-fearing Americans can do it, so can I. So can all of us. Miller, I'm not that smart of a guy. I'm the son of an immigrant. I'm never gonna get that great job in the fancy office and make a bunch of cash. I mean, I can't see me ever getting ahead on this GI pay. I need this, and you need this. We all need this. Eberhard, I'll never go for this. Eberhard doesn't have to know. He's out cold. And when he comes to, he'll be rich. We'll all be rich. No. We'll just have stacks of counterfeit money to deceive people with. Now, if these crowds don't get us, the G-men will. Won't happen. Remember the briefing? It's obvious that these notes are perfect. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sent us in here to take him out. We'll be living a lie. I'm okay with that. As long as I own the roof over my head. Listen. I'm not looking to be greedy here. We just take what we deserve and get out. Come on. I mean, he's got a point, right? Yeah. Sounds all right. Just as long as we don't screw up the mission. Exactly. This could really get Fubar. The mission is done. He's over there sitting in the broom closet. This is ours. Payback for all the shit we've been through.
spin it this way, Miller. Now you can do whatever you want. You can even fix that family of yours. No money's gonna be able to fix my situation. Once a liar, always a liar. That's what you get for marrying a wetback. Maybe you just got what was coming to you. This time you could buy yourself a better one. Hey, you know what? You get yourself a good old American girl. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get one thing straight. I didn't come along because I thought this was a good idea. All right, I came out here to make sure you don't screw up and get yourself captured or killed. We got one job to do tonight. It's to get that German on a plane. So you two stop the stupid comments about me and my family. Just leave me alone. that gag down for a while, okay? continues to bleed, he will die. Listen, I'm doing the best I can here. The wound is just too big. Haben Sie kein, uh, don't you have any sutures? Yeah, I do. But I can't just close the wound. He's still got a bullet in there. We'll get infected. Do you believe you get him into a military hospital in less than 12 hours? Yeah, I do. So let's say you get him to a hospital that soon. The doctors will simply open him up and remove the bullet. But the infection... Yes, there's a chance that the infection will kill him. But it is a certainty that he will die if the wound is not closed. Keep moving. We're making a mistake. We shouldn't go through with this. We're almost there. It's not too late to turn back. It is. We're doing this. Why are you the one that makes the decisions? 
He's not. We all decided. And every time you make a stop, you put us at risk. Let's go. Come on. We can do this. Out front. What? Martino thought he heard something, so he took Willis and Miller with him to check it out. What time is it? Almost 11. Why is his gag down? He was coughing pretty bad. Just give him some fresh air. Get some sleep, sir. We're gonna need you. To it, the door. Same as before. Yeah. Silent entry. I'm going to take the top of the house. Miller, you take the bottom. We're going to surprise him. Martino, you take point on the top of the hill and take him out if things go bad. Let's move.
guys five crates? I can't forget about the others, right? Mit welcher Einheit sind Sie? Wir? Ja! Papieren bitte! Hast du die Papiere? Da hinten! Putz die Idioten weg! We have to get off this hill. You two make it to the tree. Let's kill you first. Come on! Why did you do that? Do what? You know, with the captain. Why did you help? What would I have to gain if your captain dies? His death would get me no closer to my freedom. I don't understand. Let me tell you a little about the Third Reich. The Third Reich arose out of the ashes of World War One. Because the war ended with an armistice, we Germans didn't believe that we had lost the war. And saw the Treaty of Versailles as a national embarrassment. The German political and economical situation today is extremely difficult. Germany's former enemies are pressing here, above and German. The crippling depression in the years that followed pushed the German people towards the Nazi party with its promise of strong government and restored national pride in which all German people would be unified under a charismatic Führer. And that Führer was to be Adolf Hitler. I remember the first time I heard Hitler speak at the Nuremberg rally. Du bist uns 
to assist the nation. The German press became a Nazi press. Nazi books, Nazi pamphlets, the art of Germany, the sculptures, the paintings, the theater, all regimented to serve one purpose, the indoctrination of the German people. I, like the rest of my countrymen, became a believer, ready to follow and serve. At first, I believed in the liberation of Austria and the annexation of the Sudetenland. Even as we crushed the Poles and then headed west into the lowlands and France, I could see justification in Hitler's master plan. Sie wollten, Herr, kompromisslos die einzige Macht und alleinige Macht in Deutschland. But by the end of 1942, we had suffered a series of disastrous military losses. It was then I realized Hitler, der böhmische Gefreite, was leading us to defeat. I now had to do my part to end this war before it was too late. Where are we? Where are we? We're up Schitt's Creek, that's where we are. Listen, we need a moment to catch our breath, regroup, then we're gonna hump back to that barracks, grab the first three crates, and take them back to the cottage. It's over, Willis. Time is up. Let's stop this shit. This is not the end. I didn't come all this way to come out with nothing. It's not about you. It's about the mission. It's about getting the job done. I don't care what you think. Oh, and why would you? Huh? I mean, you really don't get it. You think you can do anything you want? Well, guess what? It's over. That's it. We're done. You gotta stop thinking about yourself, because every time you do, we get one step closer to getting killed. Now you fucked this up! There you is know? no fucking way that I'm gonna leave the cash out there! After all this shit, I deserve it! We deserve it! I don't know, man. We gave it our best shot. Nothing would make me happier than to take that loot off of them filthy crowds and get my piece of the American dream. But Miller's right. We have to get back to the mission. I don't give a shit what you two think. What are you doing? Go back to camp and get Eberhardt and Harrison. I'll meet you at the exfil. If I don't make it, you can leave without me. If I miss the plane, I got what I deserved. Ah! Lewis! What's in those hit? You all right? I think it went out the back. We got four, maybe more. We're pretty boxed in.
Captured. Captured. It was all my fault. I tried to get enough cash for everybody, but it all went through bar. Miller was right. This was a bad idea. Listen, we need to get them back. We need to rescue them. So you're the double agent? Why do you think you had such easy access to me? I have been working with the Allied forces for the last two years. My actions saved thousands of Allied soldiers' lives. Then why were we sent here to kidnap you? When your military intelligence learned that I was suspected of treason, they devised this plan to extract me to my freedom. I assure you, Mr. Willis, it is in all of our best interest to get out of Austria. Let's hear your plan. We must first consider the life of your captain. He has lost a lot of blood. If we do not get him to a hospital soon, he will die. You must take him to the airfield. If nothing else, he will get out alive. As for you and Jericho Horton, follow me. doors. They're taking us outside to kill us. But we knew the drill. Once we put those German uniforms on, we became spies. They could shoot us on the spot for just that alone. Yeah, Willis. 
He was right about one thing. <laughs> you get what you deserve. What are they gonna tell my family? My kid. Maybe it's best he thinks I'm dead anyway. be known as a liar and a cheat and a thief. Fuck. Wache! This man up for to the exfil. Come on, sir. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, not again. Oh. Kill us. Glad we went through all that shit to take a bullet in the back. Wexler's gonna help us get out of here. What? What happened? Oh. In the LKV? I know it hurts. We're almost there. You'll be home watching baseball in no time. Why do you guys rip me down for a bit? He never said anything about a ride in a truck. This isn't part of the plan. Who's he? What plan? What's happening? I have no idea. Goddamn Clapper. Hardy Clapper. We can't trust that fucking crowd. Yeah, we can. Hardy Clapper.
sitzt. Raus! These are the Americans that thought they were so smart. They could come into Germany in broad daylight and kidnap me out of my bunker. But you made a few mistakes, didn't you, gentlemen? The first one was Mammon, Creed. The second one, Vertrauen. And while you fools were chasing your money, I made a new friend back in the shelter. He told me your escape plan. And you, Mr. Willis, you're the most foolish of them all. You convinced these poor souls to go on a senseless mission. And now everyone will die because of you. Even your American friends will find this amusing. Make me Medina. Lost bit! I'm gonna have to kill right here! Lost bit! He's right here! I'm not moving! Right here! 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 is a solemn but a glorious hour. I wish that Franklin D. Roosevelt had lived to see this day. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. For this victory, we join in offering our thanks to the providence 
which has guided and sustained us through the dark days of adversity and into life. The United Nations will gratefully remember loyalty, devotion to duty, and indomitable courage that will live in our hearts as long as we admire those qualities in men. can repay the debt which we owe to our God, to our dead, and to our children only by work. We must work to bind up the wounds of a suffering world, to build an abiding peace, a peace rooted in justice and in law.